Okay, so on this page, what you're going to do is you're going to be helping us to set up your account effectively. So we're going to ask you a few questions. First of all, if you're based in the UK, you're going to be asked if you are UK VAT registered business or a UK non VAT registered business. I'm going to select that I am a UK VAT registered business for this example. The next step is to select an account for each of the different transaction categories. So here we have a Walmart account. So all these accounts are going to be to do with Walmart transaction categories. Depending on the channel you're connecting, you might see a different channel name here as well. Now, the question you've got to ask yourself here is, do you want to use our default setup, which is that we will create a sensible set of chart of accounts and we will add them into your existing Zero or QuickBooks account? Or do you want to choose your own? If you want to choose your own, then you can just click on each of these drop downs and select from the accounts list which account you want to use for each of these types of transactions. Now, a quick note here, if you're stuck on any of these, you can have a little hover over and it will tell you in the tooltip what they are. And we also tell you what type of transaction these are to help you choose the correct account. Most people will just use our defaults though. Then we'll click next. Then on the last step, we will confirm the tax rates. So because I am a UK based business and because I told the wizard that I was VAT registered, then I'm being suggested a set of sensible default uh, tax rates based on that. So it is your responsibility to make sure that these are correct, but we've done quite a good bit of research to make sure we are showing you something that's very sensible. So here you've got your sales shipped inside the UK and outside the UK. And they are suggesting some tax rates here and then all the different types of fees and other transactions and the suggested tax rates there. Once you're happy with those, just tick the box at the bottom and confirm those. Alternatively, if you want to change any of them, again, you can just select here and you can start to choose the tax rates that you feel are relevant. Um, then you can click confirm and that's it.